film and everything podcast. Play or something like that. Stay yeah. to play for Ghost of Tsushima. Tsushima. Yeah. Right. The game. Hey, Twenty looks, minutes of footage. Looks pretty like crazy. Like the looks game great. looks beautiful. Like it's like the closest thing I think we'll get to like playing in a samurai movie or something. You know oh, what I mean? It even comes with a filter where you can play in black and white with film grain. That's badass. Oh, and 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 it's like you can get that feel. Like you're in a Japanese movie, like yeah. Japanese, like classic Japanese samurai movies. Yeah, like you see like the film grain coming in the game, which is actually pretty That's impressive. Badass. Yeah, for a game to do that. That's gonna be and black and white. I, I saw people I, were I don't saying know, I'll play in Japanese, like play in the Japanese, like it would be cool. Just to make it more. You're like really immersed. Yeah, because yeah. I always think because I actually want to hear like the English side yeah. of the voice actors because it's always like that type of thing. Yeah. I- People are saying it looks like it's going to be a contender for Game of the Year. Well, considering Last of Us, I went to Last of Us 2. Yeah, Last of Us is still going down. Um, there's more articles coming out, more confirmation on stuff, and it's just it's a shame. But and Ghost of Tsushima, and and I think Cyberpunk, that's why Sony... Cyberpunk, I trust CD Projekt Red, but again, we just don't know how that game is going to turn out. I think it'll be... I think it'll be, be great, but at the same time, you don't know. Now, now, yeah, now you're, everybody's kind of paranoid now. Now you, know? you don't know because you just don't know anymore. For the past year, everything that's and been huge I, I has been letting get us down. Why some people are not too happy with Cyberpunk, and it's just the fact of, okay, you can customize your character all you want, but you can never see your character. Right. I mean, which kind of I, I I get it. That does suck. Like you don't see your character yeah, at all. Yeah, because the cutscenes don't. The sex scenes are first person. Everything's first person. So you're like, okay, like I put this new even gear the cutscenes my- too, right? Even even the cutscenes. It's really, like, it's all first person. So, yeah, I and I think, I think sometimes it goes into third, I think. Not, I'm not too sure, but I, I think it's really all first person. Even the sex scenes, which is going to be really weird. Yeah, because, yeah like, it's, it's supposed to be, like, immersive. But I, I thought I, maybe I, the cut scenes would be third person, and that's how you see your character. I never heard the first gameplay demo when they open the elevator. It's like her in third person. Oh, but I mean, to their oh, defense, if, if it's like that, I don't know. To their defense, I'm sure there's going to be like different parts in the map where no, honestly, like, there's mirrors ju- and stuff, and you can like you know, I'm sure they're going to make it super immersive where I that's know. the point. Like it's just you in this world, and you can look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, they they just posted on Twitter like they they did like a Mad Max car. For the game. I saw that. That's like pretty for the cool. Fury Road. Yeah. Which, I mean... I I get... I mean, I get why it's first person, but I also... I just... I, I would like third person just because I want to see my character that I created. It's a, it's smaller, but it's going to be more it immersive. Looks, yeah, it looks crazy. It it's looks not crazy. just flying cars, though. That's too complicating. And because like, you see it, like you see it, and it's like, oh, I want to, like, I want to fly a car. Yeah, but I mean, let's see. I like see. a motorcycle cyberpunk guy. Like, I like yeah. the motorcycle. It looks badass. You feel more. It looks bad. I mean, if you drive a motorcycle, well, that might be third person. The gameplay, because I think it was, I read an article that on Steam, people were already labeling like the game as a masterpiece. You can. And you people can. were like, oh, like calm down. Like it's it never it's just a game. Yeah. It's not like this whole Blade Runner. Yeah. Like, At the end where, of the day, it's a game. You know, because you see in the gameplay, the gameplay is very like simple. It's a game, yeah. Like it's very simple, like because you know. people want this whole blade. I, I get it. You get too the excited. Cinematic, you know. Like like you want that blade runner. That's Me, like I what I was. Yeah. yeah, that's how I was for a bit too. Yeah, I was like, and when I, you see the I, gameplay, you know, it kind of it, it brings it, you down. A little yeah. Because I think it's true. At the end of the day, it's a first person. Yeah, I think that's why they released that second gameplay demo, yeah. like, because 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 people thought it was gonna be this whole Blade Runner flying car, you know. Yeah, your thing. imagination gets the best of you, you know. And I mean, shit, you imagine a game like Blade Runner. Yeah, Dude, the, the game looks great though. The game, lo- the game looks great. Need a bigger boat. Film and everything podcast.